Vita loses appeal against commencement of trial in one million US dollar lawsuit. The High Court has dismissed an application by an opposition politician, Tendai Bita, who was seeking condonation for the late filing of heads in a matter he is being sued for one million US dollars for defamation by Oga Investments top executives Kenneth Radin Sharp and Totiana Elishina. This comes after a default judgment directing the commencement of trial was granted in favor of Oga Investments last year. Bita was also seeking the reversal of the default judgment but the High Court did not decide on this request while ordering that trial should go on. Justice Gladys Murray sitting at the Harare High Court dismissed Bita's request ruling that his explanation was unsatisfactory. In Kasu, the judgment in question was pronounced on March 1, 2023. This application was filed in June 2023. This was a three-month delay. This delay in my view and contrary to the applicant's submission, is inordinate. Applicant's explanation for the delay was that he was pursuing the applications he had filed in the Supreme Court and after the striking off of his second application on June 7, 2023. He was trying to get reasons from the Supreme Court for the decision to strike off. I find the applicant's explanation to be totally unsatisfactory. It is trite that a default judgment is not appealable. Ruled the judge. Nuri also said Bita as a senior legal official, is well versed with legal technicalities and should have known better. It is also not in dispute that the applicant is a seasoned practicing legal practitioner. He therefore knew that a default judgment is not appealable but chose not to seek rescission and approached the Supreme Court. Even before the Supreme Court he was represented by legal practitioners of good standing who should have known better. Said the judge. The court also said the lawyer Tapiwe Chipandu whom he had sent to represent him before her colleague, Justice Jacob Manzunzo was present when the default judgment was issued. So Beatty knew as of March 1, 2023. He however chose to take the route that he did at his own peril. His explanation is unsatisfactory, I find that he has failed to pass this hurdle. Applicants' prospects of success are not bright. The adage, there must be finality to litigation is apt in this case. I am of the considered view that the balance of convenience favors that the main matter proceeds to finality. In the result, applicant cannot be granted the indulgence he is seeking and to that end I will not proceed to deal with the application for rescission," she ruled. Peter was sued after he allegedly labeled Sharp as one of the most corrupt people looting Zimbabwe's resources. Oga Investments is seeking 500,000 US dollars damages while its chief operations officer, Elishina is claiming 100,000 US dollars and Sharp 400 US dollars 000. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.